Hey YouTube, what is up? How is everybody doing today? I hope yeah, days are going good and your lives are going even better. Other than that, we are gonna be jumping into the band known as Spirit Box with a song called Constance. This was requested via one of my patrons via school collector on the screen up there somewhere. You can see him right there, he's over there somewhere. You get the idea. Um He's very much been on my channel since almost the beginning, like, been helping me grow the channel, giving me ideas, all of that good shit. He's one of, like, my most trusted mod person, I trust. Probably one of the most on the internet, to be fair with you, like, he's just a cool dude in general. And he's just always just, like, um, helpful and all that shit, you know, you get the idea. But yeah, he, he's, he is on the £10 tier, or what is it, like, $14.50 tier, and it grants him access to one patreon request a month but because he does extra shit and extra work he gets two because why the fuck not mate if he does so much for me i might as well add a little bit extra on top but still without further ado he doesn't he's not sure whether i'm going to enjoy this or not but we're gonna see right now so let's go i'm gonna try and take my time with it though like i do like with patreon requests i just take my time a little bit more than i would normally so It's a very off shoe drum timing actually. That's cool though. It feels like it's gonna be a ballad to me, but I could be mistaken. It could drop at any second for all I know, but still. Oh no, it is. That's some gorgeous guitar line, that's gorgeous, mate. Mate, I want to listen to that from the beginning, that shit was gorgeous, like... Like, I know, like, generally, I do a lot of heavy shit on this channel, like, it, like it's not, like, like, it's obviously shit that I do, like, you see a lot of the deathcore fucking visual K stuff that's heavy and all that stuff, it's just, like, a lot of the time I miss out on a lot of the lighter stuff, a lot of the stuff from the heart, the, like, beautiful stuff that I absolutely do enjoy and love, like, some of my favourite songs in the world are songs like, um, Sonata Artica Tallulah and Shy, and those kinds of songs, which are very slow and very different. The same with some of like Ed Guy's slower ballads and stuff like that, and obviously a few other bands here and there that, that do amazing ballads. And her voice is gorgeous, like when she when she uses her voice in this way, you can feel the passion and the emotion and everything else running through it. And that's the most important bit because like music is about passion, it's about that emotion, it's about how it makes you feel. That's so why when people see me, like if I just say that I break down lyrics, it's not really true to what I do. Like I put my emotions into what the song is trying to bring out and I give my thoughts and opinions from that point as that's just like how I like how music affects me like music makes me see things in my head like it's like a strange thing like you know when they say like it's a rare thing for somebody to see colors when they listen to music I see entire worlds in my head so that's why music is so special to me it's why it, I think I put a unique spin on what most reactors do or I try to anyway that's my overall goal just to kind of be unique and within my own specific style and that type of stuff but still let's jump into looks let's see where we are going with this let's see where the lyrics are going to take us it's very mellow it's very very passionate and beautiful right now so a dying sun burns in the night i watch it glow it's so hard for me speaking darkness out of spites so like the dying sun is burning in the night so the dying sun could be hope it could be a relationship it could be any number of things a dying sun doesn't mean it just means something that's like a, the core of something that's building outwards um i watch it glow it's so hard for me speaking darkness out of spite so speaking darkness could be speaking badness because out of spite out of just like not wanting to acknowledge something could just to kind of fuck something up or for whatever potential re reason Coercion and then caving in, wrap me in my bitterness, give it up, I'm complacent. Then yeah, like coercion, like she's like caving in, like she's like she's being coerced into being into caving into herself, being wrapped in her own bitterness, in her own despite, in her own hatred, in a sense, in like just like more like a darkness, a depression. I'm assuming it's starting to set in, or she's getting fucked over by somebody, or something like that, or somebody's passing away. We don't know, as the song's only just starting, but. 
I'm just kind of giving the idea of what I'm trying to go about it and stuff like that. So, just enough to escape. Heretics wouldn't phase me. Lucid trust, I don't want it. Palms are rough when you promise. Fire lies when you're honest. Like, yeah. It's very true, like, I get that. Because, honestly, like, when you're honest, honesty is a hard thing to be. Because, I don't know if you guys have seen, like, the people who have, like, get got so pissed off at me for being honest about a track which I just don't like or about something I don't like about something and just like either giving me death threats or throwing abuse at me saying you're not a true metalhead type bullshit thing or you know like I don't get like just because I don't like something that you like it's not a reason to be that way but that's what you get for being honest it's why when I see a lot of the reactors out there who generally like something that they hate so they'll visibly love love something and they'll love it or they'll but at the same time they'll visibly hate something and then they'll say that they love it and it's like that's the thing they hate about the reaction scene right now that's just so fucked up to me personally and still it's hard to lose and wonder why yeah you always wonder why man losing stuff is like we're not programmed to do it man like losing is it fucks with us mentally emotionally every single way you can imagine and still i'm mean, starting this this might turn into a fairly long video but still mate i hope you guys are gonna enjoy the ride enjoy everything we're going to do about it and yeah man let's go again I love the offshoot drum time this older. It's a very cool start to the actual song itself. I love the, I love the guitar line going through it too. That was a fancy as fuck guitar line on such a soft track. It's like an easy song to sing along to as well. So like you can hear it once and just kind of be able to sing along to it, which is like a very good trait to have. I love that man, that's such a sick line. I feel like it's about to build into the chorus, but we'll see. I hope it slows back down in the verse, but... I love it. It's slowing my down again. That's awesome, mate. Honestly, you could go one or two ways with this. No, it is, yeah. Okay. That's sick. I love it. It's perfect. Really well thought out. And let's pause it right there. We're not going to go back too far, but so it seems like you know from the beginning, like so. This is like the dark sun burns in the night. There we go. If my sun won't set tonight, I'll look around. But it's so hard for me. So I watch it glow, and it's so hard for me. So it's like slightly changing as it's going through. So like you can see, like not by much, but changing, just becoming different. Like her emotional state changing in a sense. But before we get into that, man, it's like um. You pressure in increments, like a slow-moving coupe. Memories dissident when I'm holding you, soul. I'm guessing it's about somebody losing their mind, somebody getting older, somebody who's about to, like, lose everything that they are, man. Alzheimer's is a fucked up disease. If the song is about that, you could definitely take it that way, because it's very much true. Like, um, normally when people start losing their memory, their minds, when they get a bit older, like, a lot of the family members just don't get it. They just think, 
no point going on and just not all bullshitting until they finally realise that no, you really are starting to forget things and that type of stuff happens and it's fucked up in so many ways and it's just I don't know man, it's just one of those fucked up things, isn't it, to be honest, but I don't know, like I think the song is really be beautifully made. It has that very like it's not even a heavy chorus, it's just like 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 a heavy uh, chorus. It's just it fits really well into it. And the song isn't changing that much, but it's not about the lyrics as much. It's showing the passion and the emotion behind what they're going through, about what they're trying to achieve through the song. And it's really working. It's really, like, powerful in that sense. It's just one of those, like, crazy things which, like, in order for a song to work, it doesn't have to be masterfully in anything. It just has to work with what it's trying to do. And that's exactly what this song does when it fits that emotional profile which it's trying to hit. And... I am all for it. It's just, I don't know, man. Like the song is, it's like hitting me in a good way. Like I'm just enjoying my time with it. It's why I don't mind just like taking my time expressing what I'm trying to think. Cause like, I think Patreon requests are going to be the ones where I can literally just relax more into it. Cause I know that I'm doing it more for somebody who's already accepting of the way that I am. So it's just like I can take my time with it. I'm not doing it for a large audience. In that sense, like, for Patreon requests, I'm doing it for that one specific person who asked me specifically to do a song. So it's just, like, it makes more sense for me to take my time with it and to enjoy it and, like, embrace it, appreciate it, and to see how it goes that way. So... I love it, that build up was so fucking cool. It's gorgeous, man. You can feel the passion in every instrument, it's absolutely crazy. It would be cool if she growled at the end, but I don't think she's going to. It would be so cool if she put it into like a proper growl into the end properly, but... Go really powerful over the top at the end, but... It already is perfect, but there's a little bit to go, so we'll see. Still perfect. That's a song then. The video is really powerful with it too, but... Amazing song. So many things you can take from it. Which I'll go into a little bit before I end the video, but you get the idea, man. But yeah, one of the most powerful songs that I've heard in a while, actually. Like, and it's not even because it's heavy, it's just because it's, um, because of the content about it and the way it's performed and all of that good shit. But you don't have to take it with Alzheimer's, you could do it with uh, post-traumatic stress, you could do it with um, amnesia, you could do it with um, losing years of your life to drug addictions and lots of other different ways you could really take it. But all in all, it's such an amazing song, such a beautiful song, just everything, like from the light to the heavy to everything, just her voice is enchanting in that sense. Well, I love when people have passion. That's what I live for, it's why I fall out of love with the Floor Janssons of the world because her passion kind of went missing, like, not that long ago. Yeah, she has amazing technique, but technique without power means nothing. Like, without that passion, without that thing there, like, is there really a point in, in having such amazing technique if you just don't have your passion anymore, if you've lost it for whatever reason? I don't know how or why she lost it, but for me, whenever I listen to her nowadays, like, she has fucking great vocals, and it's like her technique is 
like unreal. It's like listening to a deathcore vocalist in terms of how much and how many techniques they can do. But there's just no passion there for me. And this has every single ounce of passion you could want. And what more do you need, man? This band can do everything from the heaviest shit. Well, heavy, heaviest shit to heaviest for them to this kind of low um, passion filled content. And honestly, I'm all for it. Spirit Rocks genuinely becoming one of my favorite bands just from how much they can do so from everything they can do and condense everything down into under one brand and it's still them like through and through just because of her and the band and everything else man but either way hope you guys enjoyed have a wonderful day evening or night and i will catch you guys in the very next video until then take it easy Party,